Okay, sixth grade, lesson 89. This is on estimating square roots. Now, do you remember what square roots are? I think so. Okay, looks something like this. Mm -hmm. So I'm not doing division. And then it's okay. like, you have to like, I'm have the same number roots. twice to equal right. the one in the... For example, what is the square root of that? Five, five times five. Five times five. So you have to think of the same number, five and five, that equals that perfectly. Okay? And the reason why they call it a square root is because if I did this, remember how we do one, two, three, four, five? One, two, three, four, five. Then, then it makes a perfect square. And there's 25 in there. Which is called square root. Yes, and there's 25 in there. Good point. Okay? So that's why it's called square root because it's perfect. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to learn how to do bigger numbers. Okay? Now, I'm not dividing... I'm thinking of what number can go into 400. So I'm just going to throw out 10s. Okay, so 10 times 10 is 100. 100. Okay, so is it higher than 10? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so let's do 20 times 20. What's 20 times 20? That's. Um, let's do the two zeros, okay. remember? Okay, That's and then 2 times 2 four. is 4. Yeah. So what's the square root of 400? 20 times 20. 20. 20 is the answer. And then... Okay, you... that's all you have to do. Oh, okay. So the answer to this is 20. Okay? So that's how we did that. So I just started with 10, and then I move up to 20, and then to 30, and then you can go in between there for other numbers. All right? Let's try another one. 625. Now, from previous numbers that we've done, we know that it's at least going to be 20. Right? Mm -hmm. Because 20... Times 20 is what? 400. Uh-huh, so I'm going to put 400 under that. Okay, let's jump to 30. Okay, 30 times 30. 0, 0. 3 times 3 is 9. So 30 makes it 900. So it's definitely not 900, right? Yeah. We need to go somewhere in between those. Maybe like 23 or 25 or something. Let's do 25 since it's a middle number. Okay, so 25 times 25. 5 times 5 is 25, 5 times 2 is 10, 11, 12. Now let's do the 2. 2 times 5 is 10, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, 5, 2, 6. Yay! Okay, so what's the answer to 625? Uh, 25. 25, so I would say equals 25. 25 times 25 is 625. All right, but... You're not always going to have perfect squares. And what I mean by that is this. Look at this number. 10 times 2. Uh, it has to be the same yeah, number. Yeah, it has to be the same number. 10 times 10 is 100. So we know it's less than that. 2 times 2 is 4. Let's do 5. five it has times, to go on evenly. Well, it has to, but you're going to find that it doesn't. And that's why we're fixing to go into this. Okay. So let's do 5. 5 times 5 is? Uh, 20. 5 times Wait. 5, 25. Okay, so um, 25, let's do this, is 5. Okay, so let's do 4 times 4. What is 4 times 4? 16. 16, good job. All right. So what does that tell you? Mm. My answer is, it's in between 4 and 5, right? Yeah. Okay, so if I was drawing this on a scale, okay, this tick is 4. This tick is 5. Somewhere in the middle is the square root of 20. Can you do like 4 and a half? Let's try it. 4.5. Point 0.5 is always yeah. used for half. Okay? So let's do 4.5 times 4.5. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 4 is 20. 1, 2. Okay? 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 4 is 16, 17, 18. Let's do that. 20, 25, and I want 1, 2. One, two, one, yep. two. Twenty point twenty five. Almost. Let's try four point four. <laughs> That'll work, I think. Four times four is sixteen. Four times four is sixteen plus one is seventeen. Four times four is sixteen. Four times four is sixteen plus seven. Okay. Seven and six is twelve. Thirteen. Seven, eight, nine. One. Nineteen thirty six. <laughs> now, what this shows you is that we cannot come to a conclusion. And that's why it's called 
an irrational number. Square root of 20 is an irrational number. Okay, so I'd write that down. And what does that exactly mean? What does the irrational number mean? That nothing can go into it evenly. Do you know what I mean by that? Mm -hmm. Balanced. We can't just do 5 times 5 and get 25. Or 20. 25 can go in evenly. We can do 5 times 5. Number. Okay. Okay. You know what else is an irrational number? What? Pi. Mm -hmm. Because why? It's 3.14 and it keeps going on literally forever. Forever. Forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. So, pi is also an irrational number. Okay? Do you feel like you understand? Mm -hmm. So, what we would do... Whoops. Okay. Let's, let's put that back up there. 20.25. Do you think this, square root of 20, is closer to this or closer to this? Um, I say it's closer to 19.36. Okay. Let's look at this. 36 from 100 well, no. would be 63 off. And this one's 25 off. It, tw yeah. it went 25 over and it went 63 under. Yeah. So it's closer to this one. Okay. We're so used to going to this one because when we're yeah, division. Yeah, division. Right. Okay. But we're going to say, so what you're going to do is you're going to say this. The answer is square root of 20. And instead of putting an equals, because we don't have an equal, you do a kind of like a squiggly mark. That, that means, means you're approximately. Right. Okay. And that means approximately, and we're going to put 4.5. Okay. Do you see how I did that, what I mean by it? Five. Okay, so I do not put equals because it yeah. doesn't equal 4.5 because, as you can see, 4.5 times 4.5 was 20.25, okay, which went over. So we're going to say approximate. Got it? You feel like you understand it pretty good? Mm-hmm. That is lesson 89.